Hey everyone, it's Paige Sullivan with Red Carpet Report and we are here in Hollywood at Siren Studios for Nuvo TV's premiere party for two new series that are launching. We talked to the stars to find out just what you can expect. Yeah, nice to meet you. Pleasure. So, my first question has to be like, this ring, it's yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. What is that from? This is a ring that's been passed down in my family for minutes. For minutes? So it's exciting. I don't know, I bought it somewhere at some vintage shop and it spoke to me. It's and you yeah. just had to wear it. Kind of in love with the girl on it. She's adorable, <laughs> isn't she? She's a, Yeah, she's a redhead. She's pretty. I like her. Yeah. yeah. And the curtains do match the drapes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that on the back of the ring? Is that where we can find that? Listen, there's another part to the ring. This is the head of the ring. And the rest of the body is... I don't know who needs to know where it is, but I can get access to it whenever I need. Oh. So it's on you at, at right now, somewhere? No, no, no. no. I'll keep it pri private. Oh, okay. At home. <laughs> when I unwind from the end of the night, you know, it's, it works out good. <laughs> I'm loving the story. Like I was like, I have to know, but I didn't realize we'd go this in depth with this ring. Hey, you can get more in depth if you want. <laughs> no, I think we'll pass on that. Maybe we'll talk about your career or something. Sure. I understand. All right. <laughs> so what are you up to right now? What are you doing? I'm um, touring with my stand-up all over, and I'll be headlining the March 11th episode of Nuvo TV's Stand Up and Deliver. Okay. So that'll be really cool. We shot it at the Cabo Comedy Festival down in Mexico, so that was a blast. And I'm just still doing Chelsea lately every couple weeks. That's going great. And Chelsea just asked me to go on tour with her, so I'll be wow. opening for her on some of her You Gone to Be Kidding Me tour, the May 2nd, 3rd, 9th, and 10th dates. And uh, plugging away, doing stuff for the Arsenio Hall show, and wow. it's pilot season, so auditioning and trying to... Yeah. You are insanely busy. <laughs> pretty busy, flying in the morning for a college gig in Tennessee, and then two days later, Alabama, and then wow. hopefully some auditions in between. My podcast, Last Week on Earth, Every week, I'll be working working on that till about 7 a.m. today, and then I fly at 10. So, what is this podcast about? It's called Last Week on Earth. It's on Kevin Smith's Modcast Network, and I summarize a lot of podcasts just chat with people. On mine, I summarize everything that happened during the last week on Earth. Oh, okay. News, politics, pop culture, science, trends. So it's quite a, like a one-man news bureau. It's a it's a 13-hour podcast. It takes a long time to listen to. Okay, well then we have to like really settle in if gotta, we're going to listen to this. you got to carve out a day a week to listen to my podcast. Make some food, prepare accordingly. Yes. Okay. I'm working on shortening them. Maybe this week will be an hour. Okay, perfect. I think I can do an hour. You can do an hour? I can do an hour. Nice, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. But so you're touring an insane amount, it sounds yeah. like. Do you have a favorite place that you stop? Yeah, I love Atlanta. The Laughing Skull uh, Lounge in Atlanta, Georgia is my favorite comedy club. Cause it's tiny. Like I love playing huge venues. I open for Chelsea or Dane Cook, and I'm doing 14,000 people a night. That's incredible and a unique rush and so on. But playing a miniature comedy club that holds 80 people in the back of a bar and grill behind the bathrooms in Atlanta, it's just so intimate. The connection with the crowd. I have an album I'm releasing shortly called Live from the Vortex, produced by Margaret Cho, that I recorded there in the Laughing Skull. And in front of that night was like 45 people. Wow. And it's just, I love that connection with the crowd directly. So that's m one of my favorite spots. But arenas are cool too. <laughs> They're nice too. They're okay. Arenas are great. We won't, we won't stop doing that. No. <laughs> Someone says to me, you want to come do an arena Thursday? I'm not going to say, no, I'm playing to 45 people. Yeah. No. I will say F you to the 45 people. And hit up the arena. Hit up the arena. Perfect. Well, good luck on all your travels. It Thank sounds you. like you're going to have a very busy spring. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to sleep until probably June. But then I'm going to hibernate. I'm very I'm the opposite of how bears work. You, you hibernate in the summer, hibernate work summer. all year. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for you. At least you're working. <laughs> That's better than most people. Yeah, except during summer. <laughs> can't get work in summer because I can't receive calls. Oh, okay. Just, Just sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Phone is on do not disturb. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> so funny. Well, good luck with everything and have fun tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe. And tell me below, who's your favorite Latin star? My personal favorite is John Huertas.